I can't read today. It's way too early for this guy. Start sharp tape tape. This is gonna be a day and a half, man. Hey guys, and welcome to today's video. So today I'm gonna be doing my May BoxyCharm unboxing. Basically what I'm gonna be doing is showing you what I got inside this box here. If you don't know what BoxyCharm is, P.S. before I get started, this is not a sponsored video. I just love BoxyCharm. If you don't know what BoxyCharm is, it is a monthly beauty subscription box. So you get anything from skincare to makeup to sometimes hair care and like hair styling products and tools. Majority I find is skincare and makeup though. You pay for US viewers, is it $25 US I believe and then I think for most places in the US you get free shipping so it's like 25 plus tax that's it and you get at least over a hundred dollars per box I don't think I've ever gotten a box that the value didn't add up to over a hundred there's been over two hundred dollars there's been almost three hundred dollars worth of product so it's an absolutely incredible subscription box if you're a Canadian like me I pay when it comes to the exchange and shipping it's about between 40 and 45 dollars a month but it's honestly still worth it even though you spend 40 to 45 dollars you still get over a hundred dollars worth of product so it's a really nice way to get new stuff you discover new brands like I've, I've discovered some brands that I had never tried before and I really enjoy a lot of their stuff so it's really really cool I really recommend it if you guys are looking for a, a subscription box so yeah I'm here at 7 in the morning I got up at 6 30 to get ready to start filming my son has stopped napping and uh yeah I mean I'm actually really enjoying it more than I thought I would so I was really actually quite nervous for him to stop napping and and mind you, my son is three. So I know most kids stop napping like bef way before three. And then after that, we put him into a big bed. So it's he's now potty trained within the last couple of weeks. So it's lots of changes. But in Canada here, we're in lockdown. Like we can't technically like leave our house really we're not supposed to like it's a stay-at-home order because of covid so i'm not working right now like at my spa so i've been just focusing on youtube and just obviously family so long story short it was a good time for us to transition into him not napping and everything but it also makes things tough for me to film because i solely filmed when he napped so yeah this has been a little bit of a transition for me hence my hair has not been styled lately i just don't have the time because i'm trying to find time to film Bear with me let's just shut up caitlin and get down to it this is why i have a coffee is what i was trying to say it's gonna be one of those days where it takes me a while to get this done this is what the box looks like and you get four to five full priced items or sorry full sized items so the first product i got is actually a primer this is the coconut skin smoothie priming moisturizer by first aid beauty formulated with coconut water and other super super food super food ingredients this complex i can't read today it's way too early for this guys i'm not a morning person <laughs> this complexion enhancing moisturizer instantly brightens hydrates and smooths while helping blur the appearance of pores the result is beautiful healthy looking skin worn alone and long-lasting makeup when used as a prep step, which is what we're gonna do today. It's supposed to prolong the wear of makeup, hydrate your skin, brighten, smooth the appearance of pores and blur. So hope that that's the case. This is what it actually looks like. So let's see what it's actually all about and what it looks like on the skin. And if you haven't watched my channel or if maybe you've missed me say this before, I am combination of oily skin type, acne prone, you know, all the fun stuff. I don't see really much poor minimizing, but I can feel it's moisturizing and I can maybe see a little bit of like a dew, but it's nothing like my like Becca Prime lighting or my favorite hydrating ones. So I don't really feel like it does a whole lot to the skin. It smooths, it definitely smooths the skin, gives it a more smooth appearance. It just doesn't really target the pores specifically like I'm used to with pore filling primers. We'll just see how this guy performs. I will do a little wear test, why not? Let's see how this guy performs. The next product that I have to use is the Tarte Shape Tape Glow Wand. So I had heard of this, but I had never actually really understood what it was, and I'm actually really excited to try it. Oh, and I forgot to mention, this alone is worth $30. These prices are also in US, like on the card, so if you're Canadian, it's actually worth more as well. This one is worth $30 US, you already got your money's worth in this product alone. So the next product is, as I said, the Sharp, sharp Tape Tape. This is gonna be a day 
and a half, man. Tarte Shape Tape Glow Wand, which is an instant eye lift in a tube. Sheer liquid brighteners let your skin come through to deliver a natural, lit from within, youthful glow. Has a diamond complex to deliver a soft focus finish. And it also comes with a removable sponge for on the go blending. You can actually take it out, but I think the purpose is to like, kind of go like that. I don't know if I'm gonna like that though. Basically, it says on the box here four ways that you can use it. Over top of shape tape concealer, which I think is how I'm gonna use it today to kind of brighten. You can use it alone for no makeup magic, mixed with moisturizer or primer, or on the high points of the face, collarbones, and decollete. So you can use it as highlighter or as like a kind of brightener under the eye. That's what we're gonna do today because I wanna see how it performs under the eye. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and do like my foundation and concealer, and then we'll come back and try this baby out. Okay guys, so I put on my NARS Soft Matte Complete uh, Foundation, sorry, and then my Tarte Shape Tape. Now let's go in with this guy. I guess just put, I'm gonna just put a little bit, like right in there, because I don't wanna go too crazy. Let's see what it does. Oh, that is nice. It actually almost like looks like it turned the tart shape tape to more of like a creamy concealer, like more radiant finish. Maybe I'll use it a little bit as highlight as well. That's actually really nice. It like reflects the light. I mean, I am going to go over it with powder, so it probably will eliminate a lot of the, the radiant finish. I'm wondering if it'll keep it more like lively, like less dry looking. Not that it usually looks dry with Tarte Shape Tape, but you know. Yeah, you know what? I actually really like that. It really does brighten the under eye. I know it's not new, like it's been around for a hot minute, but I never have ever used it. I'm just going in and setting it. So while I let this bake sit, I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows because the next product that I have is an eyeshadow palette. So I will be right back. All right, well I have eyebrows. I don't really honestly see a huge difference, but I liked how it looked when the powder wasn't on it. Whenever you use anything like radiant finish, it doesn't look that radiant finish because I do use a lot of powder. This is one I'm definitely gonna have to continue to test. Maybe we'll use it as, yeah, let's use it as highlight today. So I have prepped with MAC Paint Pot as well. And I'm gonna go in with the next product, which is from KAB Cosmetics. And it is the Day Plus Night Eyeshadow Palette. I again forgot to mention that the Tarte Shape Tape Glow Wand is worth $27. And then this eyeshadow palette is worth $52. So apparently this has been reformulated. I did not try their original, so I'm just gonna be going off of this experience, obviously. It comes with a new formula and new sustainable packaging. It has 18 highly pigmented shades to create a look for both day and night. I actually have tried a couple things from KAB Cosmetics. I tried their lip, it was like a little lip duo with a lip liner in the shade Charming. I really like this lip liner actually. It came with, a was it a lip gloss or a liquid lipstick? I haven't used that in a bit, but I use the lip liner more often and I really like it. And then their lip oil that I got is incredible. I absolutely love it. So I'm excited to test it. I swatched a couple shades. It looks like a beautiful, beautiful palette. It is a mix of warm and cool tones. It definitely has a, you know, good, mixture of lighter shades and darker shades a little couple pops of color in there which is really nice for versatility in different looks if you're somebody who likes to kind of play with makeup i personally do obviously and so i like to have the options there's like the purples in here so that's quite cool toned and like the burgundies but then there's also really warm tones so i'm really pumped to test this out i'm just going to go ahead and play around with this
Okay, guys, so I finished my eye look. I actually really, really like this palette. The formula is really nice, both matte and... Okay, one second. I need to do something with my hair because it's a hot mess. I really like the palette. I do love the warm tones. The mattes are really pigmented and blendable. I think they really like blended together perfectly. And I really like the metallics as well, like this one here that I put in my inner corner. Is that not beautiful? They're really like, like they're really pigmented and eat like creamy. So, and beautifully like right, light reflective. I, I really have no complaints so far. I'm really excited to actually play with this some more. I'm excited to play with like these purples and the cool tones. Okay, so the next product is the Bamboo Bronzer by Ciate London. This is worth $28 US. It is an oil controlling formulation infused with bio, or sorry, botanical ingredients, including bamboo powder for a shine free sun kissed finish. Super lightweight powder can be swept across the cheekbones for a subtle glow or built up to contour and chisel your features. So I'm gonna use it as contour and bronzer today. This is the actual like product. I like quite a few things by Ciate as well. I have swatched this, so there is fingerprints in it. Sorry guys, but that's the actual pan. It has a cute little detail in it with the stars. So let's just go ahead and do it, you know? Oh yeah, that's a nice shade. And it did say like you could build it up to contour, so that's nice. This shade here is a little warmer, but it's not too warm, like it's not like really orange. So especially for the fair toned ladies, but anybody, like you typically wanna go with cooler tones in your con for contouring. So this is, I think, a shade that is more uh, like versatile enough to use it as bronzer and as contour. If you like like a super cool toned, I would only use it as bronzer. But as you can see, it's building up really nicely and blending out really nicely. Like it looks super airbrush. It's not going patchy at all. It's blending right into the makeup really nicely. So I like it. And I love that it's like oil controlling. So especially when you sweep it across the forehead, it potentially, if it works, will help control shine. Oh yeah, the last product is this little kabuki brush here. I actually already have this, but whatever. What's another one, right? It's the Bella Pierre Cosmetics Mini Kabuki Brush. I don't know where I got this before, but I have the exact same one upstairs. I don't really use it, to be honest with you. So I'm not like super excited about it, but it is a nice kabuki brush. It's soft, it's dense, but it has some give to it. So you can like blend things out. I like these kinds of brushes for like all over kind of blending. If you maybe applied too much of something, you can kind of just go in and blend. It's apparently the best selling brush, perfect for all over mineral foundation application. So yeah, it would be good for like powder foundation um, application because it's like denser. It's 100% synthetic. I have never experienced anything like bad with this brush. It is a nice little brush. I like this too, because it doesn't like kick up a lot of product. Like it doesn't make a mess. You don't get too much on the brush, yet you get enough, like it's pigmented enough. And it actually is very smoothing. Like it looks really, really smooth on the skin. Beautiful bronzer, actually. I'm definitely gonna continue to use this. I'm really enjoying that. A little bit orange for contour, I guess, like now that I have it on. I'm just gonna go in with this brush with a little more product, to like tap off the excess and kind of buff it across the forehead for a little more of like a bronzed, kind of glowy look. Not that it's glowy, like it is completely matte, but you know, like that bronzed goddess. And it, I do like this brush for blending like um, any harsh lines. They do a really good job. And I like that they're mini. Like this is the type of brush that I would pop in my purse in case like throughout the day I notice something's, you know, not perfectly blended. You just kind of go over the area in like a buffing motion like that. And it really does, blend things out really, really nicely. That is the last product. So that's, I've used every single product in the box today. And I will be honest with you, every single product impressed me. I would say the product that maybe was the least impressive was this one, just because I didn't see that many like actual noticeable effects, but it's the type of product that I have to see how it performs. So I'm gonna do a little wear test, as I said, on these products. I do have to say though, now that I've applied my full face of makeup, I have to say like right in here is looking so smooth. I do think this did have some smoothing effects. It also felt moisturizing. It did, I forgot to mention it's safe for sensitive skin. So that's really great. We'll see how it grips the makeup and how um, you know everything wears today. I'm just gonna go ahead, finish my makeup off camera so that I can show you guys the finished look. So I'll see you guys 
guys in just a couple minutes. Okay guys, so I'm back and I finished up my makeup look. This is the finished look. And I can honestly say that everything really turned out great. This one is, um, I don't know, like I don't honestly really notice a difference with it. I did before I said it. I felt like it really brightened my under eyes. I would definitely use it again. I did say I was going to use it as a highlight, but I did not. Let's just, you know, apply some to the nose. I'm just gonna get some on the sponge. Oh, that's actually pretty. Do you see that? Like that's like really, really like wet look. And it applied actually on top really nicely. It's actually looks really smooth too. Okay, wait a second. Let's just apply a little bit like right here. Why not? The more the merrier. It's quite bright. This is the shade Sunbeam I forgot to mention. Um, so it is like quite bright, but it actually is really, really smooth and it does go over top of powder. So that's actually really, really nice. I'm not mad about it. I'm not mad about it at all. And it's quite glowy when you add it as a highlight. You could, and it said you could also add it into your primer to make it more of like a dewy look, like a glowy look. So I would definitely try that for like a summer glowy look. I actually, now that I've tried it with that, I really, really enjoy this as a highlight. Um, and I wanna play with it more, um, kind of maybe mix with a primer, play with it a little more under the eyes and see what I can do with it. Um, whoa, let's add up the grand total. Do, 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 do. $157 worth of product and it's only $25. So I think that it's safe to say this was an incredible box. I'm really happy with every single product and I will be back in just a little minute to show you guys what this is looking like at the end of the day. Hey guys, so it has been over 12 hours and this is what my makeup's looking like. So I'm a bit of a shiny mess and I did touch up once, but I'm actually just gonna pop on some of my Stay Matte by Rimmel. So about the primer, this is my most matte finish like most mattifying long wearing foundation the NARS soft matte typically lasts a good 12 hours now I might have to touch it up but I'm usually not this shiny so I definitely think that the primer was quite moisturizing definitely noticed a difference with using that primer and for me personally it's a pass or I would potentially want to try it again without using moisturizer underneath it's just I don't think the one really for my skin type so if you're combo to oily I don't necessarily recommend it if you like a matte finish so let's go ahead and touch that up I did touch it up once today but we look a lot better now I just personally think that that primer is not my favorite the heart under eye what you call it glow wand I do really like it as a highlight like really like it as a highlight I think it's a beautiful highlight it went well over top of powder without lifting or shifting the makeup and I'm interested to continue to play with it under the eyes I really liked that it brightened the eyeshadow is still looking really good no fading or anything like that yet so I'm really happy with that and the bronzer is still looking incredible I'm actually really impressed with the bronzer super smoothing flawless like that airbrush finish it's just a really really nice bronzer and i honestly recommend it even for purchase sorry i just can't this this romper is like my cozy romper and i usually wear it with a strapless bra so sorry guys I'm doing my best here. Long story short, love the bronzer. It's one of my favorite products from today's box. So it was a really good box. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, I encourage you guys to give me a thumbs up below. And if you wanna see more by me, I also encourage you to hit the subscribe button down below as well. Thanks so much guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.